Sometimes sad and distressful events occur in life, making us think that everything around us is now divided into a before and an after, but no matter what, sooner or later, we have to accept fate's circumstances and choose to keep fighting or accept irreparable things. This story is about a young student who made the world love his art, despite a terrible diagnosis that made everyone applaud his act. 21-year-old Jeff Henson from Kansas was an ordinary kid. Like everyone else, he attended school, played with friends, and was interested in sports. The boy's parents were overjoyed to see their son making progress in his studies, and everyone loved him because of his cheerfulness. Also, his school teachers often praised him for his active participation in class life and his great interest in the sciences. By eight, the boy had won numerous local math and drafting contests. No one doubted that the boy could make even more progress, but as it turned out, other challenges were waiting for him along the way. One day, the Henson family was having dinner in the backyard, and the boy's father, Hal, playfully asked his son if he liked the stars shining in the sky. But when the boy said he couldn't see them well, his parents were a little worried about his answer. Nevertheless, his parents did not take any severe measures because of Jeff's eye problems. After all, the head of the family had been wearing glasses since childhood and thought it was time to choose suitable eyeglasses for their son. Eventually, the new glasses did help the boy see a little better. The cheerful boy wasn't upset that he always had to wear eyeglasses, and he said it was very stylish, and the glasses made him look like a scientist. Jeff's eternal desire to get as much information as possible from books turned into fanaticism. He could not stop reading, even when he was getting ready for bed, and even his parents' warnings that reading in the dark would worsen his poor eyesight could not stop him. After a few months, the boy complained again about his blurred vision, but Hal thought it was because his son was reading too much. He bought him new eyeglasses again, but as it turned out, reading was not the problem. The Henson family had to change their carefree lifestyle and prepare for a serious challenge. Jeff's endless complaints of visual impairment made his parents worry more and more. When the boy couldn't find his way around, tripping over everything, they decided to go for a complete examination. Doctors diagnosed the boy with neurofibromatosis. Simply put, it's a brain tumor. A side symptom was visual impairment. Such a verdict could only mean that Jeff would now have to spend much time in the hospital, undergoing an intensive course of chemotherapy. It's hard to describe how the Henson family felt at that moment, but after experiencing an extensive and challenging period of treatment, no one wanted to think that now Jeff would be bedridden and should forget about all the joys of life. But the positive attitude that Hal and his wife maintained all this time was not just blind faith in success, because a few months later, the boy came back home, and even though he now had to navigate by touch, literally, a new chapter in life awaited him. Besides his passion for technical science, the boy was interested in art. And keeping this in mind, his mother made an art corner and brought colored paper and watercolor paints so that he could paint pictures on canvas, forgetting about what he had experienced not long ago. The boy liked the idea, and since then he began to rapidly master all kinds of techniques, realizing that soon he could lose his eyesight. It was one of the few activities that could brighten up his gray, everyday life. Jeff was able to forget about his passion for science, entirely devoting himself to drawing. After a few months, he painted a picture, and the beauty of this picture was admired by everyone who saw it. Perhaps many people have a question. How can someone who can only see colors and large objects, and needs help to take a few steps, create true masterpieces? After trying many different techniques, the boy began to use the volumetric writing technique, and with the texture paste, sculpting mortar, and acrylic, he applied something similar to a mosaic, or base relief, to the canvas, and after the main layer had dried, he began to work with the color. The bumps on the canvas became a guideline for him, and touching them, the young artist knew what part of the painting he was working with. But local success was only the beginning of his story. Spending a few hours a day with their son, his parents realized that Jeff's unique way of working with a canvas could bring him enormous popularity, and one day, 
Hal came up with the idea of turning his son's hobbies into an excellent way to make money. Thus, when the boy was only 15, he became the face of the workshop selling paintings. And he also launched his website, demonstrating all of his creations. Once the world learned about the boy's story, many people became interested in his art. The boy deservedly became the headliner of popular exhibitions. And the popularity of the local star could be described by one simple fact. Jeff's paintings attracted the attention of many celebrities from different industries. Here are a few names. Entrepreneur Warren Buffett, singer Elton John, actress Olivia Wilde, and many other celebrities. All of them have Henson's paintings at home. The unexpected popularity did not bother him in any way. And most importantly, popularity did not change the boy's mentality, and he continued to create paintings with great interest. But the best part was yet to come. Living with severe disease, Jeff understood how difficult it was for those who also suffered from diseases. So, the guy came up with a plan to share his profits with others. The artist announced that he would auction off his paintings one by one, and the funds from the sales would be donated to charitable organizations. What the guy did was impressive because the average cost of one of the 1,400 paintings was about $4,000, and at the auction, bids sometimes reached up to $20,000. When the boy was 19, about 200 organizations and foundations that support children with tumors received donations. Jeff did not want to stop there and said that by the age of 20, he tried to reach the mark of a million dollars, which he will be donating to children who fight for life. And he made it happen. The personality of the young philanthropist, sooner or later, was bound to attract the attention of journalists who craved heartwarming stories. The number of such journalists increased with the number of donations. I decided it would be good to give back to the world the money I earned rather than use it for myself. Once I tried painting and today I can't stop, Jeff told me. Soon the face of the young and modest artist was on the covers of numerous magazines. To date, Jeff has already donated more than $6.5 million and confidently states that by 30, he will paint a few thousand more pictures and increase his total donation to $10 million. In this story, we cannot help but be fascinated by the fact that the doomed boy was fighting a terrible disease and won the battle. And then he shared his joy of life and creativity with the whole world. This story can be finished with a powerful phrase once uttered by the visually impaired Kansas City artist Jeff Henson. When you concentrate on helping others, you forget about your problems.